Hey there, it's Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters, and today we're going to have a video the six outstanding ways to file your water leak or water damage claim. We're going to go through a few pointers to help you before you file the claim and the steps you should take when you're going to file your claim. Let's get into it now. All right, first, number one, what we want to do is get a plumber out as soon as possible. Now, if this is a, according, if it's related to a pipe break or any other type of plumbing issue, make sure the plumber documents what's happened. All right. Point number two, while a plumber may only document his plumbing work, uh, and what happened, you want him also to document visible damage. For example, um, you want him to put on his invoice, kitchen water line break, replaced water damage of cabinets, floors, baseboards, etc. Now, the reason why we want him to document this, if he will go that far, and you got to ask him, this is extremely powerful evidence and documentation when it comes to supporting your claim. So this is very important with regards to that. So if you can have your plumber do it, great. All right. Uh, tip number two, you want to document initial events. How do you do this? You do this by taking a photo and video of the damage immediately after it happened. You also want to take inventory of personal items like furniture, clothes, electronics, uh, anything that was damaged of personal property. Now, this doesn't mean your floors, cabinets. I'm talking about personal items and document all the initial events. Number three, you want to contact the water mitigation company. You want um, you never want to use the insurance company's water mitigation vendor. When you file the claim, one of the first things they're going to do, okay, recommend their vendor. I won't go into all the details. One of the reasons why they do it is because they know that their vendor will save them money. All right. Their vendor won't do the adequate job and everything that needs to be done. The other important point with these water mitigation companies, all right, if the insurance company doesn't pay us 90 days and we will expect you to pay us or we will put a lien on your home, okay, this mostly goes to Florida residents, other states you may have this as well, Florida residents, listen to me. Do not sign a contract if it says they're going to come after you 60 or 90 days. What you do is tell them, hey, does your contract say that if the insurance company doesn't pay you 90 days, that you're going to come after me and put a lien on my house? If so, write an addendum. Write something that says, will you agree? Listen, I want you guys to do the job, but I'm not going to agree to that. Write something on there that you will not hold me responsible for this bill until the insurance company pays you. Um, the reasons why they do this, they want their money now. They don't want to wait. I understand that, but you're in it together. So I believe they should have to wait like everybody else has to wait for their settlement. All right. Number four, what you should never say. Now, the most important part of the video now, I guess I should have had, right after three, go ahead and file your claim. So let, let's impromptu now. You call the insurance company and file your claim. These are the words that you should never say. The leak has been there a long time. Let's go through this. The leak has been there a long time. Okay? No, don't say it. Never knew I had a leak. No. Was probably there for months. No. It was leaking forever. No. I knew I had a leak, but I didn't think it was that bad. All these things we don't want you to say ever when you're calling in your claim. So how do you call in a claim? Simply had a leak. All right. They're going to ask you when, and we'll get into that. So here's why it's so important not to use these words. This is why it's so important. 
right here. 99% of all homeowners policies state this, constant or repeated seepage or leakage is excluded. Meaning, what their definition of constant or repeated seepage or leakage goes to long term, anything that's been there for a while or you didn't know about. Even if you didn't know about it, it's still not gonna cover if they can determine that it's long term, which more than likely they will. So you call the insurance company, you're filing a claim for your water damage, a water leak. What do you say? How do you say it? These are the words you use. It just happened, Mr. Insurance Company. It recently happened. It suddenly happened, and a couple days ago it happened. All right. So abbreviated quick video. Again, my name is Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. Here's how you can get a hold of me. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email, give me a call, and I'll try to help out any way I possibly can. Alrighty? Thank you so much for watching this video.